when making up a sales, the customer has to pay some tax. And when during of the purchases, making of a sales it was an input tax sorry when making of a sales it was an output tax when making of a purchases it was an input tax that means total taxes how many taxes are required here it is 10 5 of the inputs and 5 of the outputs 5 input tax conditions and 5 output tax conditions that's why here, the step number one, define tax condition types. Define tax condition types. Here I am making one note. Here I am making one note. Note. The SAP predefined input tax condition type is condition type is m w v s for the input tax it was an m w v s and for the output tax m w a s that means the system predefinedly itself it consists of the two types of the taxes. One is the MWVS and another one is the MWKS. Here, what we have to do that we need to copy the taxes to our client. We need to copy the taxes. For that, the menu path is for that the menu path will be the SPRO SPRO SAP reference IMG SAP reference IMG Financial Accounting Financial Accounting Global Settings Financial accounting, financial accounting global settings. Under that, tax on sales and purchases. Tax on sales and purchases. Under that, basic settings. Basic settings. Let's see here. Let me log in from here. Log on. Let's see. SPRO, 
SAP Ribbon by MG, Financial Accounting, Financial Accounting Global Settings, Tax on Sales and Purchases, Basic Settings, Check Calculation Procedure, Check Calculation Procedure. Check calculation procedure. This was the menu part for creation of a condition type. And when you are entering on this check calculation procedure, there are the three options will be there. You are going to create the sequence or the condition type or the procedure. Just we are going for double click on double click on define condition types. Double click on define condition types. Let's see. Double click on define condition types as which we discussed. There are the two different condition types which are already available. One is the MWBS. MW? Yes. yes. That's correct. Let's go for the position, madam. MWBS. Is it that? What was the MWBS in the sense of which was an input tax? MWBS is an input tax. And now, and now, let's select MWBS, copy, what do you want, Yarish, let's take the ABBA, VAT input tax, enter, and as well as, ABCI ABCI CS input tax ABSI S input tax ABXI excise input tax Size input tax and ABEI ABEI ERC input tax. That means whatever the client has been asked, the five input conditions has been there. One is the ABVI, ABCI, ABSI. ABXI and ABEI. Let's see here. You can check it out with the here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All the five conditions is there. That means as per the client is asking ABVI. ABCA, ABSI, ABXI, ABEI. This is only for the inputs. When during of the purchase. As like as the client is asking about of the SD also. That means the outputs also. Then what we have to do that? From here, select position button. Let's go for the MW AS. Select it, copy it, select it and copy it, and make the other things. 
Yeah. A B vivo. A B vivo. A B S vivo. A B X vivo. A B vivo. Let's see. A B vivo. It was an end. What output tax? And as well as A B C O. A B C O. C S C output tax. A B X O. Excise output tax. A B S O. S T output tax and A B E O. Here is the output. So, as like that, which I am having all the ten condition types. Now you can see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A B. These things are the basic. Totally ten condition types. So, C S T input, C S T output. It is input, it is output. S T input, S T output. Word input, word output. Excise input, excise output. So totally. Whatever the client is has been asked, we got everything. All the condition types here. This is the step number one. This was the step number one. And let us go for the step number two. Step number two. That was a check and change. Settings for tax processing fees. Check and change settings for tax processing fees. <coughs> Means it is a key which is used to. It is a key which is used to transfer. Transfer the particular the particular tax amount tax amount to the general ledger. That means when I am making the purchase, the total purchase is the thirty thousand. As we came from the name, but Under that thirty thousand, thousand rupees is the VAT. Three hundred is for the CST. Hundred rupees for the ST. Fifty rupees is for the excise. Ten rupees is for the EDC. Whatever the amount which was specified, that amount has to be told for the particular lecture by using the tax code. And the CV also is the same in the part. This will be also the same in the bar, but instead of the check calculation procedure, check and change settings for tax processing fees. How many of the tax conditions are there? We need to create that much of the tax processing fees. How many of the tax conditions will be there? We need to create that much of the tax processing case by using this SPRO, SAP Reference IMG, Financial Accounting, Financial Accounting Global Settings, Tax on Sales and Purchases, Basic Settings, Check and Change Settings for Tax Processing Case. So there, from here, in the same manner, 
So let's go for the new entries. Let's go for the new entries. Let's check the ABI. It was already there. Let's check the SBA. IVA. Something. What input tax? Whenever it was an input tax, it will be mentioned with a two. Input tax has to be mentioned with a two. And the posting indicator. That means whenever we are posting the transaction, the tax amount has to be shown in a separate item or not. Total invest amount is 50,000. And the purchase amount is 45,000. And the remaining 5,000. 2,000 is for the VAC. 1,000 rupees is for the CSC. 500 is for the ST. 200 is for the excise. And 100 is for something. Is it has to be shown or not? It has to be shown for us now. That means we need to make those of the things also into a separate line item. Those of the things also into the separate line item. That means I need a one tax condition type. By the tax condition type, whatever the tax has been applied, that has to be shown in a separate line item. That means for this, it was an IVI. IVI. ICI. ISI. IXI. IVI. All the input taxes. ICA. CSC input tax. As like as ISI as simple tax as simple tax and IXI excise input tax. And IEA, IEI, EDSA input tax, separate line item, and it was an input tax. That means we have created all the input taxes. As in the same way, we need to go for a creation of the output taxes also. So for that, we need to go for IVO. Any name? Just for your remembrance. IVO. Word output tax. One, two. One in the sense of output tax. ICO. CSC output tax 1 and 2 one. and as well as IXO ISO SC output tax 1 and 2 and IXO excise output tax And as well as IEO, we will see output tax. One and two. So total lamp consists of the 10, sorry, 5 input conditions and 5 output conditions, as well as 5 input tax processing keys and 5 output tax processing keys. I. 
is clear now i have created all the input tax conditions and as well as all the output tax conditions in linkedin that means totally i have consist of the 10 condition type and as well as 10 processing fees now what we are do that we need to make all those things in a proper way the proper way which we are calling as a name tax processing tax procedure in the next we have to go for a define tax procedure define define tax procedure the third step the third step itself we have created all the condition that whatever the client is required and as well as we have created all the condition types and also with the tax processing fees now define tax procedures in the same way yo double click on define procedures Double click on define procedures. Till now we have created the condition type. We have created the process processing fees. We are putting all together into one procedure. We are putting all together into one procedure. That procedure is called as the name tax procedure. Now in the same in the part, see here. So calculation procedure, refund procedure, new entries, India, tax procedure for India, save it because already there. I N D. Okay. My tax procedure name is I N D. Select it. Select it. Double click on Control Data. Double click on Control Data. And then new entries, new entries. That means I need to maintain the tax procedure for the country of India by using of the tax condition types and as well as the tax processing fees. By using the tax condition types and as well as the tax processing. Fees. Let's see. First, ten. The average you can take a hundred thousand. Even you can take the thousand thousand. It is not a problem. I am taking it as a ten. That means when the processor will be works. First, what do you want? I need the base image. I am in the part of base image. That means, what is the base purchase value? And what is the base sale value? Under that, twelve. Even if you can take anything, no problem at all. But not less than the ten. It should be always in the increasing mode. Not should be in the less than mode. Not should be in the less than. It was always should be in the greater than. Now open the new page. Now from here, I am giving you as IBBI. Where input? Where input? 
and that wire input that wire input has to be calculated on the strip of 10 the base amount is 50000 the base amount is 50000 and the wire amount has to be calculated on that 50000 with the percent of so and so that's why right, from 10 to 10 50,000 is the base amount. The rad has to be calculated on base amount and the percentage has to be go for IVI. The composition of your body. And then it's 50 ABCA. Simple and question of base amount is added. Base amount will value, that calculator value. As well as, I have a required second one is CSG input. The CSG input also has to be calculated on base amount. 50,000 is invoice amount. 10 by set of that. What we are doing that? 50,000 into 10 by 100. We are calculating the amount on the 50,000. That means that is the base amount. As like as that see your ICA. Twenty. A B S I. I S I. Twenty two. A B X I. I X I. Thirty. A B E I. This was something separate. This was not calculated on the base amount. It will be calculated on the tax amount. VAT 5000, CSC 2000, Excise 1000, SQ 2000. On the total 8000, it will be going to be calculated. Not on the 50,000 of the base amount. That means here we have to give from 12 to 22 IEI. This is for the input taxes. As like as, even if you said that it should be either the tax on sales and purchases. We have given for the purchases. Maybe it was at a sales. What will happen? 40. A B B O. I B O. 45. A B C O. I B O. I C O. And the 48. A B S O I S O A B X O I X O A B E O forty to fifty I O We have created the tax condition types, whatever the client required. And the second step, we have created the tax processing keys for each and every condition type. And in the third step, we have club in together into one procedure. And now, now, this procedure has to be assigned for company code. No. Why? Because the taxes should not be changes for the by the company code. The taxes will be changes by the country wise. Taxation is the country wise company wise 
India on the Acre, India on the Acre, and over there. When you are in the years, the same thing. That means that the taxation will be changes by the country wise, not by the company wise. That's why what we have to do that. Assign. And the fourth step. Assign country to calculation procedure. Country to calculation procedure. The same in the path. Assign country to calculation procedure. In the same manner path, nothing will be changes. Let's see. Assign country to calculation procedure. Select position button. What will be your country? India. What will be the procedure you want? We have created the procedure. INP. That means whenever we are making any of the transaction by the country of India and the procedure has to be applicable at the IND. IND. We have created the whatever the condition types like asking. And the second, how many of the processing keys is required? And the third, we are clubbing together in a procedure. And at last, that has been assigned for the country. But what is the percentage? And what is the sales percentage? What is the purchase percentage? We don't know. And when it was applied, which ledger is actually applicable? We don't know. Just we have created the procedure, that's it. Right? Now, after how much of the steps which you have done? You are seeing only the four. Ten condition types. Ten processing keys. One procedure. And that procedure has been assigned to the country. It was like up to this much of the question is given. Take the rest for the five minutes. Not only the five minutes, just only for the three minutes. We will continue the session again. And we need to complete it. Right? Just make a rest. Make it relax for the few minutes. And we will start again the session. Okay. All the tax condition types and as well as tax processing keys and also we have clubbing together into one tax procedure and the tax procedure has been assigned for the country. Now we need to creation of a general ledgers for those of the taxes. That means whatever the tax which we have which we have all those taxes, all of those taxes has to be maintained in a separate separate lectures. That's why in the next state, in the next state, we have to create the general lectures for the taxes. In the fifth state, creation of a General ledgers for taxes. Here the condition is all the input taxes has to be all the input taxes has to be comes under on liabilities. That means Whatever we are saying, 
whatever we are paying in generally whatever we are paying in generally which we are calling as an input taxes and all those input taxes all those input taxes has to be comes under on liabilities and as well as and as well as whatever the output taxes that means whatever we are receiving all the output taxes has to be comes under on has to be comes under on assets that means whatever the tax amount which we have received is an asset and whatever we have received the tax is an asset and whatever we have paid the tax whatever we have paid the tax is an liability is an liability it means we need to create five input taxes and as well as five output taxes but what was the difference in creation of these registries by using the fs00 transaction for is fs00 fs00 see here i am taking here as a company code of the amu1 in a sense see wad output csc output sc output access output and is it but when creation of these of the ledgers in the control data in the control data we have to give the tax category here it is a grad or that whenever you are creating the output tax the output tax should be maintained by the grad then as like as all the output taxes all the output taxes in the grad then and as well as all the input taxes that means whatever the taxes which you are paying all those has to be comes into the less than symbol this was the matter all the input taxes should be in the greater than and all the input taxes should be the less than whatever we are paying is comes to the less than whatever we are receiving has to be comes to the greater than whatever we have received is an asset whatever we have paid is an liabilities including with this we have to make some other two things in expenses whatever the purchases will be there there we need to mention the tax category with the minus all the input taxes has to be shown with the less than all the output taxes are to be shown with the less than and the purchases ledger can have the only input tax alone and as well as The sales ledger should be plus. The purchases is in a minus, <coughs> and the sales is plus. Then, right was till now we have given the procedure, the condition type, processing fees, and the procedure, and the procedure has been assigned for the country under the country and the company code which ledgers we are required, but. Have we given any percentages for the taxes? No. That's why in the sixth step we have to go for the define tax codes for sales and purchases. Define tax codes for sales and purchases. SPR go, SMB rebates IMG, financial accounting, financial accounting, financial accounting global settings, 
financial account in global settings tax on sales and purchases calculation define tax codes for sales and purchases and the land section code is FTXP and the land section code is FTXP let's see the same menu path SPR book IMG financial accounting financial accounting global settings tax on sales and purchases calculation tax code for citizen maybe you can say that I am in required only the 5% of the act I am in required only the 7% of the act and I am in required the right of the 10% you can multiple of the conditions, multiple of the percentages will be there. And that situation will be create a number of the tax courses. In the India, I need a tax code with the A1. Done. What's the A1 which I am taking here as an input tax code? And what it was? Input tax. For your country of India, this is the tax processor has been already assigned. Now, tell me what I have to do. For the batch, 5, 8, 6, 4, 2. For all the input tax codes. When I am creating the input tax code, I have to give for the values of input tax. And as well as, place the cursor in the output. Deactivate, 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 and deactivate, and make it safe. Even the client is not asking about of the CSC. I don't want the CSC. Then make the CSC put also deactivate. As like as A2. <coughs> Let's take as an output tax. Here are the other output taxes. A. Here we need to give the percentages for the output. And make the inputs as to be the output. And save. One creation of the input tax, deactivate the outputs. One creation of the output tax, deactivate the inputs. Maybe if the client is asking about the more percentages, you can create that much of the tax. How many of the tax codes which you can, which the client is required, you can create that much of the tax. And now, Now, what we have to go for, the next step is, in the last step we can say that, define tax accounts. For this, the SPR one, SAP difference IMG, Financial accounting, financial accounting global settings, <coughs> tax on sales and purchases, SPR <coughs> book, IMG, financial accounting, Global settings, tax on sales and purchases, postings, and then define 
tags are common. Only listed as having the transaction code OB40. 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 Different tax accounts. What we have created the tax processing is ABI, ACI, ASI, AXI, CZ, sorry, IBA, IBA, ICA, ISI, IXI. Now let us see here. First one, ICA, ICA. Double click on ICA. In which chart of accounts? In this chart of accounts. In this chart of accounts, whenever the ICI has been applicable by, by the tax code, by the tax code, if the posting was either the debit or the credit, Either by the debit or by the credit, that has to be dumped into the accounts of by the tax code of A1. If this tax has been applicable by the tax code of A1, that has to be comes into the ledger of what you are CST in purge. It has to be considered the ledger of this one. And even if it is scanned by the A2 also, it has to be considered the ledger. But both should not be applicable. Why? Because we are given that one should accept, another has to be deactivated. Yeah. It will not accept it. But we need to give the both. <coughs> and as well as. CSC output by the tax code wise in the posting key whether it is a 40 or 50 by the I1 it was a CSC output 1 or 4 even if it is a A2 also 1 or 3 and as like as IEA it is input see the same key the same key it is input A1 it is input And A2 is even if it is for the it is a output it is a output by the 40 and 50 by using the it is a output A1 by the tax code of even what it was which we have taken as an A, it is the output, the it is the output has to be something to here, 1 or 7, and A2, 1 or 7. And even, if it is from the SG input or SG output, ISI, SG input, 40 and 15 it is by the A1 SC input <coughs> and even if it is a A2 SC SC output by the motion key of 
Kemudian itu Kesiaupun Kesiaupun Dan itu Waring coach, IVI. Waring coach. Tunggu ke waring coach. Baiklah, Evan. Tunggu ke waring coach. Ini yang berisik. Biar orang pun rasa sih. Baik, itu sangat applicable. Baik, itu kita guna meta. Why should we give it, sir? Why should we have to give this input and output both of the access unit is? We have maintained both of the tax codes in one procedure. In the back end, the system okay. it will be takes the condition it is if and else. What is the condition it is was if or else. If it was applied take this, else go for this, as well as this equals has been came in the loop on every, we are giving the 10 for each and every one, hmm. if it has been applied take this for 10 days, else go for the next one, if it has been applied go for the next one, else go for the next one, as they get everything has been loaded into the one life cycle, this is of the loop on every. That's why we need to give the both of the things. But it was applicable only of the one. Even when you need to open it, LM integration. All you people already know that one. When you need to open LM integration, there are other things. Who's listening to today? First of all, we have made a budget down to the end that. We have received the stock. And after that, we have received the small job. I have. It's my sense. At the time, we have a need to apply the this tax code of the input. But then it will be applicable only the next. Inputs not the output. Let's see the right output here. And as well as the right output here. Input last is first. All the tax codes has to be activated. All the tax codes has to be activated. But, not the tax codes. No. All the tax codes has to be activated and the tax conditions, whatever we require, those has to be activated. That's why initially we have made the tax conditions has to be activated. Next, we are making the tax codes. Here it was an exercise input. Here it was an exercise input. Even. And the last one, <coughs> as as output, as as output, one. Now, the other people are using the full tax code. The other people are using the output tax code by this thing. But, if it is in a service in mass, there is no product going to be there. That can be happened by using the other people by using the address for the tree. Let's see an example. In address for the tree. When you are structuring that, you can put up a moon one. If I am making the purchases from the ASD, that is group of chemicals, it does star 
sorry, amount two thousand. Calculate tax. This was the minus. And now being purchase of raw material and it was at a forty. That is cabbage. In which year it has to be debated? In the year of purchases. Star, which tax code has to be applicable for making of a purchase? Whether it is input or output? Input. Plus document singleite. Generally, when after during of the limitation. But IR value has to be comes into here. Canvas is here. Automatically, this invoice has been generated. See, total amount which we have given something. But you are showing that the eight thousand eight ninety two rupees only. The three thousand is for the bag. CS is for three thousand. ST is two thousand. And the excess is one thousand. And it is is two one seven. It has been divided all the taxes, inclusive of the MRP. Even if we can go for the sales invoice, sales invoice from the sales from the sample shipments. I have made a sale for the sample shipments for the fifty thousand. Calculate tax. Being sales invoice raise fifty. It was a sales sales revenue star. What it was is output tax plus document similar. Customer for the customer we are given the total fifty thousand of invoice, but under the fifty thousand, the material value is only the thirty eight thousand eight hundred ninety nine ninety two rupees only. The three thousand eight hundred is for the watch, and three thousand double one is for the CSC and SC is at two thousand double three, and excess is one double five, and it is is two one seven. Every tax amount has to be bifurcated, and that will be reduced to the particular general ledger automatically. Yeah. And these are the tax codes which can be directly used by the MN people and as well as the SGD. So this is what about of the saving in FI. <coughs> in FI.